What's an important aspect of your character's journey that many storytellers and presenters leave out? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the most important lessons I've learned about storytelling is that your main character has to have something big at stake. There has to be some goal that your character achieves so that her life has meaning or it improves or it gets better. If she doesn't accomplish it, her life could be meaningless or it could even be in danger. That may sound a little extreme and that works really well in movies. How can we apply that to business talks? Here are a couple of quick examples. You may have heard a story I've shared about sitting in my manager's office back in 1994. I was a certified financial planner and had just given a workshop that got poor evaluations. At the end of that meeting, my manager said, fix this or else. The or else was pretty obvious. I was going to lose my job. A real problem for my career and my household income. The stakes were pretty big for me. The other example is a presentation I did when I was a certified financial planner for a group of women business owners. When I began that presentation, there was a lot of resistance. I came to find out that they thought I was just there to sell them something based on a previous experience with another speaker. Well, the, the stakes there were high because I had invested a fair amount of money to host this event, and my job was to create prospective leads from these and take them back to my office. Well, that wasn't going to happen. So this could have been costly to me from a financial standpoint and also from a reputational standpoint. I had to overcome that problem. As you're crafting your story, think about what's at stake for either you or your main character. What could they stand to lose? Uh, is it money? Is it career? Is it reputation? There's something at, at risk because if you don't have that, the audience really isn't going to care. We'll see you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.